I would say one thing that I want students to leave with is an understanding of the basic ecology, natural history, diversity of birds, um, as well as their ability to ID them. And then the other is the, the, the declines. So essentially just understanding the problem of bird declines. And really the majority of the course is focused on what can we do about it. Um, I really like how the uh, course really engages in the field with the lecture. So you're getting uh, a good mix of the uh, lecture format, learning what the different techniques are, how they're applied, and also going out to the field and trying to replicate those techniques and learning firsthand how to do those things. Uh, and it's really not until you get in the field and even if we're not covering the same content in the field, they get an appreciation and almost an ownership um, of the material when they're experiencing the material. So um, being able to identify birds and, um, and understanding where that, that specific bird lives uh, and the kinds of habitat that it's in. I think students leave a course field course with that hands-on experience just much more invested in their careers and their educations. I'm hoping in my career it'll help advance me further in getting some sort of uh, conservation job or a um, field technician position working with uh, animals or plants in the uh, conservation or habitat management field. I I think Leslie's class was one of the most foundational and life-changing classes I took in my time at BCU. Avian ecology in particular just had something about it that was really good at preparing me for a lot of different fields within environmental science. Learning a lot of different skills that I think are applicable across the environmental studies curriculum, like using R, being out really early in the morning and learning how to do work in the field in all kinds of weather and just be able to learn about a species and learn how to make it matter to people is like a really important skill. I think the one thing I would like them to take away from lecture is the link between science and conservation. If we want our conservation decisions um, to be effective, they must be grounded in good data and good science. Other students, I think, feel empowered after taking a class like this. They're able to realize that they can go out in the field and identify not just birds, but plants and butterflies, and they become naturalists. And I think that's something that all of um, the faculty in this program, you know, in addition to teaching them how to do statistical analyses and how to communicate. We also want them to just be appreciating the natural world and being comfortable in the natural world. And, and um, I think hopefully this class helps facilitate that. So the trick when you're unwinding a net is to keep, keep it crossed. Three, five, zero, two, six. Look at that tail. Oh. Wow. So pretty. It allows you to get experience with, with things like uh, like bird banding, like what we're going to do at Rice. Um, like being able to learn about that stuff in lecture, um, learn about the theoreticals of it, the reasons for it, and then actually, you know, how to do it, how to take a bird out of a mist net in the field and stuff like that. Uh, career and like educational wise, I'm hoping to work with birds, so I think this will be, this is a lot of help with getting experience and further applying to stuff like grad school, but personally, I really just like being able to identify a lot of birds. It's really fun. I hope that you all take this, uh, you know, appreciation for birds and your, your newfound ability to identify them and that you share it with people around you and that you, um, you know, whether it's your children in the future or your partners now or your family, um, just to share that because I think it is one of those things that once you're aware of the wildflowers around you or the birds around you or the butterflies, that sort of the whole natural world just sort of opens up. And I, so I hope they share that.